Welcome to the Breakfast Time Broadcast with Victory Igori Ogagbon. The BFT Broadcast is a platform where we share God's undiluted word with you every Monday. My name is Avicii Adesua Igori Ogagbon. Remember, his word is light. His word is a lamp to guide us from sleeping. Victory Igori Ogagbon, the Breakfast Time Broadcast Convener and your host, who, alongside other servants of God, will be sharing from her experience in a bid to help you become your very best before God and amongst men through the ministry of the Word of God. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Breakfast Time Broadcast, aka BFT. Happy New Week and a happy stress free week to you all in Jesus' awesome name. Yes, to all our first time, I thank you for permitting us to invade your space and thank you for stopping by. I trust the Lord to bless you. And if you are blessed by the message, please remember to thumb up, leave your comment. And if you've not subscribed, please do subscribe. God bless you. And to all our breakfast family, the Lord bless us and happy celebration to us. Yes, we thank God for the seventh anniversary, seventh year anniversary of the breakfast time. It's a year of perfection. And I also want to thank God in advance because 24th is my own birthday. And I give God all the praise for what he has started in our life this uh, new season. And I pray it shall be permanent in Jesus' awesome name yes shall we just quickly say a word of prayer abba father we intentionally want to say thank you thank you for your mercy that has never ended in our life thank you for your compassion that consistently overwhelm us thank you lord for the overwhelming victory that you have given unto us oh thank you for the daily loss of blessings and benefits thank you for all that you have prepared for us this new week lord we take full delivery of them in the name of jesus 
Jesus. Lord, we receive grace, O God, to walk in the light of your truth as victorious children of yours. In the name of Jesus. And thank you even as you are about to send us your word. Lord, we pray, O God, that the fragrance of your word from this altar will drag multitude, O God, unto salvation and discipleship across the nations of the world. These are many more we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I'm super excited already. This month we started a wonderful topic, Walking in Victory. And we saw that as children of God, we are not called to walk for victory. We are not called to fight for victory. But we are called into a victorious life. Because the death and the restoration of Christ guarantees victory for us hallelujah has given us victory has given us the privilege to be an overcomer to walk as an overcomer so without wasting much of our time let's see the book of deuteronomy chapter 30 uh, uh, sorry chapter 1 and verse 30 a he said the lord your god which goes out before you he shall fight for you so the lord your god goes before us god goes before us he shall fight for us. He does not go before us to watch the enemy defeat us. He does not go before us to watch the enemy humiliate us. But he goes before us to fight for us. And when we see Deuteronomy chapter 20 and verse number 4, he says, For the Lord your God is he that goes with you to fight for you against your enemy. I love this part of it, to save you. He goes with you to fight for you against your enemy and his intention of going is to save you hallelujah so therefore in this kingdom we are not permitted to be victims but we are victors and i said something here we don't fight for for victory we don't fight from victory because we are skilled people take it it's not because you are skilled victory does not come to you based on your status no victory comes to us because of who has gone ahead to fight for us or who is standing with us to fight against the enemy for us. Hallelujah. We don't, I, I, want, I want to repeat, we don't fight from victory because we are skilled people. No, our victory is sure because there is one who has gone ahead of us to fight for us and not just fighting for us, but rightly equipping us to do that the needful hallelujah and i said nobody can win in a combat with an enemy when using the same weapon the same source we could see in the book of first samuel chapter number uh, 17 when goliath caused david in his gods david did not invoke a petty god david also called on a superior god so for us to be able to walk in victory for us to be able to have victory over the adversaries our source must be superior than theirs and we must be rightly positioned you could ask the boxers they will tell you there is a particular place they stand and punch their uh, their opponent and that opponent falls down so we must be right we must be rightly positioned with well efficient weapons not just anyhow weapon praise master jesus you could see in the book of joshua chapter number 23 and verse number 10 it says one man shall chase a thousand they can they, that man is not chasing a thousand because he runs fast no that man does not chase a thousand because he's who same but no he chases a thousand because the lord is god is he that fights for you as he has promised so today fighting from victory is all about who is fighting for you and from whose perspective you are fighting for today many of us are in the wrong battle many of us are fighting a lost battle even before we start because why your your, your perspective on the person on the on the enemy is the wrong person and when you look at the book of ephesians chapter number 12 uh sorry chapter 6 and when we see verse 12 from verse 12 you see what the lord began to speak he said for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against rulers of darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places so it is a lost battle when you focus on man it is a lost battle when you begin to gather all your momentum and everyone around you to fight against a mere man you've already lost the battle because why the battle that we are called that 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 that, that is 
we are facing is not just man. Yes, it is. there is possibility. The spirit can invade a man to do anyhow, to misbehave. But you must, as a child of God, as one who understand the, who, who understand the things of the kingdom, to understand there is a spirit sponsoring that action. And that is what you need to attack, not the fellow. Hallelujah. So, and he now further went on to say, Therefore, take up the whole armor of God. If you must be able, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to fight from victory, you must be able to take all the armor of God, the, 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 the weapon that God has prepared, the one that has gone ahead of you, the sophisticated weapon he has prepared for you. He said, now, therefore, take all the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand in the evil days, and having done all to stand, stand. And verse number 14, this is what it says. He says, stand therefore, having guided your waist with truth. Hallelujah. Truth. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness, truth. So one of the one of the weapons to fight from victory is truth. One of the weapons to fight from victory is truth. Truth, having the truth tied around, having make yourself understand. Look, I am not the one fighting. There is a God fighting. Truth. Truth. You cannot have lies in your hand and want God to fight for you. No, God cannot. Cannot uh, cannot step into your unrighteousness. No. Truth. And he said having a breastplate of righteousness. Righteousness. For you to be righteous means having a right stand with God. So God does not fight for strangers as I've always said. God does not fight for strangers. He fights for his children. He fights for his own. He goes out of his way to make sure his children are victorious. He said, now, shod, and shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking up the shield of faith, which you will be able to quench all the very doubt of the wicked one. Praise Master Jesus. Let me stop here because of our time. You need truth in everything we do for us to be victorious, for us to, to fight from this victory. You must be truthful. No matter how terrible it is, tell yourself the truth. Tell people the truth. Say, speak truth to one another. Be truthful. Ah, this is what I did. Yes, you may not like it, but this is what I did. I'm sorry if it hurts you, but this is how I did it. Praise the Lord. It's a righteousness, breastplate, having a right a, a right stand with God, right stand with men. Let your conscience be pure. Let everything about you be pure. Because, you know, I saw it something. By God, all actions are away. Praise Master Jesus. And he said, having the gospel of peace, the gospel of peace, the word of God every now and then, having it. Praise the Lord. And above all, he said, taking up the shield of faith. The opposite of faith is fear. So when the devil throws fear, you must have the word. You must have faith in your heart to, to, to stop the plans of the enemy. And I pray this week, as we go through this week, that the God of heaven go ahead of you to fight for you. I don't know the battle you are fighting, but as you stick to this weapon that he has given us at your own time, read through Ephesians chapter number 6 from verse number 10. And I pray victory will be yours in the mighty name of Jesus. So continue the message. Join us on Tuesday on our Bible study, on our Facebook page. So till I come your way, I remain victory at this hour, Igori Ogagun, your humble host. God bless you. Shalom. Hallelujah.